still okay let me just sidetrack here the comic industry now um for the last three weeks we've seen them just fall over the mainstream i'm talking about dc and marvel and so on just fall flat within a couple of weeks they just went boom dropped and as um i posted earlier about clownfish talk tv talk about another 25 percent or so of people have basically uh freelancers been told to stop working here's the thing being someone who watches a lot of what's going on in the entertainment in a, um uh entertainment universe uh and productions uh com comic books, movies tv all that uh keeping an eye on live streaming and how that's working disney of course owns warner brothers and then they went out last year and bought fox now i am imagining in my business mind way of thinking um that a lot of things are going to be about to get sold off from disney now that's my opinion the reason for that is that disney's just got a loan of another five hundred five billion dollars right they paid four million dollars for star wars four billion dollars for star wars i think it was no two two billion so it's around about close to four billion new zealand i think it was might have been anyway so then they went up everything was really good for them last year of course the beer bug hit everything went down everything went down for them they're playing uh, they're firing people laying off people cutting cuts uh you know you know more golden handshake for Iger and all this stuff uh, the sorry uh the castles you know disneyland and all that isn't working they're all closed it's going to take months before they people are confident enough to go back to them and so on uh, disney uh, plus isn't doing so great um, I was just talking to my nephew in Australia. He's saying, "Have you got that?" I was like, "No, it's not, not." You know, he's got all these shows, and I'm like, "No, I'm not even interested in Disney Plus uh, because most of the stuff that they're, they're, they're putting out, I've already seen, and there's nothing new because nobody's making anything new. The only thing new that was of worth was the Star, um, Star Wars um, Baby Yoda, and now they've got nothing new they can put on there so people are saying well what's the point i've seen you know our family already has dvds our family's already got you know been watching this forever we've already seen it on tv what's the point of having it so they're losing um viewers through that um so there's money lost there there's money lost at the sites um uh, at the castles disneyland and not able to create more product um Iga was out Iga's back in and running the show um uh, debacle with star wars as you know fans have just run away in droves because of star wars debacle the um trilogy um uh, so they 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 went and got a six billion dollar um loan then they got another billion dollar loan if i remember right then they got another five billion dollar loan that's 11 billion dollars of loans now what's going to happen is they've got three years to pay it all back if i remember right could be wrong there now, so they got $11 billion that they got to look at paying back. Now, if you've lost your um, audience on all your things, on your um, on your castles, uh, on your streaming, and also in your biggest product, which was, um, which was Star Wars, and to get that back is going to be hard. So you're going to end up really, really trying hard to get money back. So what are you going to do? You're going to get rid of your products that aren't making money. The first one is printing new comics. That's what I would do because it's not a building. And, um, and because it's not a building, it's not Disneyland. Your main focus is your Disneyland. You got customers coming from all over the world every day in thousands new comics people who are producing these new characters and stuff are getting shredded by the comic book and um fan base readership whatever have you people from all over the world are giving it down votes they don't want it um and so you have 80 odd years of comic books right like x-men um started in 1968 
or 63 if I remember right, right? And you have all these history of great quality of books until about 2000, 2010, 2015, when it just went downhill because they got on all the new people that had no love for comics, had no idea what comics were about, but they, they knew, thought they thought knew better. So they kicked out everybody who was working there and were doing stuff because they were white and male. And so they brought in all these people who had then even worked in advertising and stuff to actually edit comic books and come up with new ideas and stuff. So that whatever fans at that point they had, or readership they had, went down. Now, so when because I try to reach out to people uh, with very niche um, appeals or interests or likes in this, you know, likes, they lost the 80 to 90 percent of people that actually had been like myself who would love comics forever for 30 odd years, you know, and reading them and buying them, buying the merchandise, buying the t shirts, right? Turned us away because they went for the niche moment, you know, wine drinking is, uh, I think it's Mecca. Or, um, as um, Geeky Sparkles on Clownfish um, calls it, all right? Those mums, they went for those people. So because they went for those people, they, they really went from like a really wide group into a very tight hole, right? And very small niche marketing. And so rather than really looking at what worked and uh, developing that into better, they went to something that was totally new, nobody liked or wanted, and that made Marvel go downhill. And it's been doing that for 10 years. People are saying that it's only went down because of the beer bug. No, it didn't. And YouTubers have been saying for ages, and I, and I myself have believed that for at least about five to 10 years now. Um, so it's nothing new. And as a person who owned a comic shop, there's nothing new, right? This, is, this was going to come and has been coming and we watched the last two years of comic shops closing anyway. So it's not because of the beer bug that shop, comic shops are closing. It's they were already closing. Like 50 shops in the last two years had already closed before the beer bug. So the idea that this is this is a, it's a beer bug that's killing the industry. No, the industry was on its last legs already. This has just pushed it over the edge. So like back to these um, Disney. So I would basically go, you know what? And this is something I was talking with with. Um, a CEO yesterday of publishing, a uh, comic publisher yesterday. And today, of course, uh, I'll put that out with Neon saying it, right, on, on the Clownsmash TV, that they believe the same thing. So I'm not the only one who believes this, but we discussed this yesterday in, um, in a live um, chat we had, um, sorry, on Skype chat I had with them about saying that how this is what's going to happen. What is going to happen, Marvel stops. Marvel's got his eye, uh, Disney stops Marvel, stops publishing, goes, stop. And they already tried that last year, by the way. And they're going to send their IPs that they have to like other companies to produce, like Dark Horse Comics, will, who's you know will start publishing, um, you know, X Men comics, Avengers, whatever, or some other. Image might even get on board. Go, yeah, why not? We'll do Deadpool. We'll get Rob Rifle come and do this. Hey, he can even write it himself, right? Why, why continue with Marvel? Hey, just have your imprint there underneath. Oh, Marvel Comics, done by. Dark Horse or Image, right? Like we do with ourselves here. We got Rising. Uh, we do like um, we have our our logo on our um, should have pulled out our comics, but we have our um, Plunge Studios label on our comics at the top here, right on these areas here, and then underneath that we have our um, over here. Oops, sorry, backwards. Over here uh, we would have our Rising Sun emblem, right? Because that's our publisher. So that's going to happen. It's inevitable. But it's my opinion, but is isn't just my single opinion. Everybody else is saying it as well. So they already tried that last year, as I said, with IDW. They were sending out Captain Marvel books. Uh, they were going to do a uh, a cat book. Well, I don't even know what a cat a cat's called. A book about the cat, right, by IDW, not even by Marvel. So you could see that happening. They're already there, signed this, book, and then you know what's going to happen? Marvel Studios is just going to make movies, 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 which they're already doing. But hey, they specifically will just go, we don't want to make comics. We'll just make Marvel movies, uh, movies. And from based on the 
old stuff because that's what people know that's what people love that's what people have stuck around for and so you're going to end up seeing no more new comics if you do you'll see like little one you know a handful of graphic novels going to somewhere else getting printed by um only or someone like that and so on or by even like i said image comics but i doubt it because todd and eric i don't think they want to be they want they want to be working with that sort of thing but they might they might as a um as a created own thing they might go yeah we'll publish it you pay for it we'll publish it and so on the other thing is that same thing will happen with dc comics with warners warners like like um you know i've had the rumor as well that someone's actually from um dc has said to uh clownfish that you know that uh with neon that the first word they said was like why are we producing publishing comics anymore why are we printing comics anymore what's the point so when warners came in you know uh tnt um at and came in um and they had that big meeting at the end of last year mid last year about how they're going to deal with dc comics how people you know why are we making 300 million dollars a year when we could make a make a single movie done right like joker and make a billion make it over a billion all right no capes no masks well of course there was masks but no powers but yet we made the billion because it was a good story it was good character development it was well written everything about that was amazing um the other thing so if that's if if i'm just thinking of as a business person as you know or, um if this is if if i'm making a if i can make a over a billion dollars i think it was 1.2 or 1.4 something like that. and that's us by the way not new zealand that's us 1.4 1.2 billion and i have a company like dc that's only making 300 million and we got so many moving parts got so many people we got to pay why would we do that from a standpoint of a business person right of a ceo why not we we have um almost 100 years of dc comics character stories we've already paid for them we own them right they're already ours why do we have to pay new people to do new stories? Why don't we just keep putting these graphic novels out over and over again, reprinting them forever? Why this, why let, you know, why pay new people to do new things when we already have all these, you know, all this IP that we already own, all these books, we've already put these guys. All we gotta do is put out more shirts, put out my, more cups, you know, put out more toys based on the stories we've done. There's no need for new stories. This is how these guys are thinking because that's what, as a business person, you would think. Why, why pay out three hundred? You know, why waste having to deal with a, a company that only makes us three hundred million when we could put a single movie out done well, make three, make a billion? They made about. Let me see. One point. One five billion in profit of one movie. Now, if I remember right, I think it was made for around about forty to fifty million US. A Joker, that is. So, if a single movie makes them a profit of one point one plus billion dollars US. It only seems feasible to not have to worry about uh, hundreds of people making comics, new comics, rewriting stories, reworking um, characters, whatever, and just close it down, especially now. Because I'm telling you, those people in those boardrooms right now, uh, live, uh, live Skyping media uh, things, streaming with their own officers and CEOs executives and all that that's why Jim Lee's been quiet all this stuff right what they're thinking is cut off the dross right cut off the fat keep the meat keep the potatoes keep what's working and what's working for them is Joker over a billion dollars in profit hands down why hold on to something that's actually floundering right now 
made worse by comics pros who've been attacking fans and stores and, uh, and independent creators for the last 10 odd years. And now they're coming out and trying to help those stores that they helped destroy. So, as like I said, I love comic stores. I, I, my, and my love is deep. That's why I opened up my own comic store because I know that is the that is the first place that people actually come and and learn about comics, learn about the history, learn about other comics that they might not even have heard of, they might be interested in. And I can say, hey, look, have you thought about this book? You know, and this is what they're basically like spokespeople, historians for the industry. That they basically come out and go, hey, listen, guys, there's so much more than just Superman with his cape flying around. It's not just there's there is like the guy said to me, there is X Men. I he said, you know, I can't even remember, man. It's like thirty years ago. He probably said to me, you know, Hulk. Are you interested in that? You know, Hulk Smash. Are you interested in Batman and all that? No, I didn't come into Batman until about 2003. I didn't start reading Batman until 2003. I didn't start reading um, um, because I had, a, like I said, I had a five-year period where I just didn't want to touch comics because I lost it in the fire. 